So there's really no easy way to explain what that was, but it's called Meow Wolf. It's in Santa Fe, and it's essentially an interactive art installation slash puzzle slash I don't really know what else to say about it. It just has to be experienced to be understood. If it looks like something appealing to you, you should definitely, definitely check it out. It was a total blast. After exploring Meow Wolf in Santa Fe, we headed out to check out some of the churches, chapels, and other historical buildings in the city. It was a really neat little town. I really enjoyed spending some time there. And then we took a very, very windy ride up to Colorado to Great Sand Dunes. Now, I don't even have any footage because it was that bad. At Great Sand Dunes, we took a little time to sandboard and sled down some of the dunes. Not gonna lie, it was not as much fun as it seemed like it would be, and it was an incredible amount of work for very little reward. I'm glad I did it, because I probably would have felt like I had missed out if I hadn't, and it's one of those things you just kind of do when you're in great sand dunes. I also got completely covered and just kind of saturated with sand, which took me forever to clean all of it out. After we played around in Great Sand Dunes for a while, we went to explore Zapata Falls, which was absolutely beautiful. We had to walk through some freezing cold water to get into it, but it was so worth it. If you happen to visit Great Sand Dunes, I would say this waterfall should absolutely be on your list or the trip just won't be complete. After that, we took an incredibly scenic ride across southern Colorado, across some mountains, over to Durango, where we spent a little time hanging out, checking out the trains, and just kind of chilling out before we went to Mesa Verde.
It was quite phenomenal. I highly recommend that you check out this national park and you take some tours of some of the cliff dwellings. There's some incredible history going on there, surrounded by a lot of mystery and a lot of guessing. But it was cool to hear some of the ideas of what they think these buildings were used for, and it was neat to just try to imagine people living day-to-day -day life on the side of a cliff. pretty nasty out right now uh, so we're in a we're in a hotel I'm catching up on some work right now uh, staying warm inside the hotel thank you Bob for paying for that uh, he's a real good friend uh, it, would, it would suck pretty bad to be camping right now it's pretty cold out I knew I was cutting it a little early coming into Colorado uh, this time of year but I wanted to take the southern national parks off the list uh, and come back around in August to hit Rocky Mountain National Park and uh, Black Canyon of the Gunnison. And Mesa Verde was beautiful yesterday. I mean, it was a little gloomy and, and a little bit cold, but but it wasn't snowing, so that was good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to go back inside and maybe make some hot chocolate. This is... <laughs> This is not my style. I did not like this kind of weather at all. It's beautiful, but it's too cold and wet. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for today. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already. That way you don't miss anything whenever I post something new about motorcycles, camping, travel, and adventure. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.